This is Sydney on Monday with a crowdfund bid here in Berkeley, California, in the beautiful campus of the Berkeley and in Bloom Center for Diplomatic, what is it? Oh, Development Center, so diplomatic. And we have a diplomat here. You're a diplomat. Oh, really? Yes, <laughs> actually, you are coming from UK, UK crowdfunding, and you have billion. What is it, billion dollar uh, funding? So I'm the managing director of Trillion Fund, which Trillion. is a crowdfunding platform for renewables in the UK, and, and I chair the UK Crowdfunding Association. Well, that's great. And you guys had just had a big convention, actually, over there. You had your meetings, actually. There, yeah? We did. It was wonderful. We had our regulators and treasury and government everywhere talking about what the future of crowdfunding can be and what it can do for the UK economy. And so why are you here? So I'm here to see if I can collaborate with other associations around the world to try and bring all the data together so we can demonstrate what impact crowdfunding is having now and what I might do in the future. Okay. Well, what's going on with crowdfunding in the UK, Julia? Well, we're kind of lucky, I think, compared to the US. We have a slightly more flexible regulatory regime. So it means that people in the UK can invest even in equity crowdfunding without being accredited. So it's a slightly more democratic form of finance. We'd like to keep it that way. All right. So is it growing? But I just saw some report that you're trying to regulate that. What is that all about? Well, we have two different kinds of crowdfunding. We have debt-based and equity-based. I think donation rewards is, is fairly straightforward. But we're bringing together those two worlds of peer-to-peer -peer lending and equity crowdfunding. And the key thing is we want to keep the crowd in crowdfunding. We don't want the regulator to block people from participating and certainly not on the basis of how much money they have. Oh, that's great. Julia, um, UK, it's uh, how many people in member in that UK association of the crowdfunding? UK, you call it UK crowdfunding. How many members do you guys have? We've got 25 operating platforms and they range from donation like Just Giving to reward space like Indiegogo to Cedars and Crowdcube on the equity side. So it's a really diverse group of people. So that's great. Over there. So um, um, when you say that internationally you come to the US and you know in UK you guys very pretty much you know getting together and European part of it um, if you have any advice for you know US people that they have platform and they have as you know the SEC has not passed a law like you guys you know, I've been to London a couple of times and Cardfund Beat by the way is in London okay. also we have a UK version of it what is your advice to people here and wait and see attitude here well I think that you know we're not that far apart, actually, in the US and in the UK. And I think the key thing is to demonstrate, you know, who is participating and what their motivation is and that they do understand the risks of crowdfunding. Um, so there's a big value for data and that's why the Barclay guys are so key to us, is if we can all get together and share that information and collaborate on it, US and UK and other countries around the world, I think it'll really help people feel more confident and understand that this is a really um, beneficial um, entity and could really help the economy, particularly small businesses. Do you think your crowdfunding is here to stay? I think it's um, already here. The train has left the station, to quote Tim Draper. Um, I think it's just a more democratic form of finance. And, you know, in so many ways in the rest of our lives, we've seen a rebalance of power between individuals and institutions, mostly via technology. And this is the last wall garden. And I think the walls are going to come tumbling down. That's great. So, and, and you came from that VC, and you came from the financial background. So, and it's very interesting because here in America, it's a, they kind of a look, wait, and see attitude. But in in UK, you kind of embrace it, you guys. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? It seems yeah. like roles are reversed in some ways. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I think that there's a lot of angel investors in particular who are now getting involved in crowdfunding, maybe because given the economic situation, they don't have the liquidity events they're used to having. Um, and what I love about it is the investment amounts are so small, the minimum investments, really everyone can participate, learn, experiment with, you know, $20, yeah. and then maybe get more experienced and, and become a little bit more um, open to risks and larger investments, you know, as they get more confident. So did that, uh, what, does it help the economy over there in UK? And is it is it em embracing what a lot of people like? Not, you know, I see a lot of news coming. so. Is it helping to a lot of small businesses, incubators and startups? Well, we have an awful lot of debt-based crowdfunding, which I think is really the, the, the majority of the market and also relevant to a large number of people. Maybe not everyone wants to be doing equity investments into startups. Um, we're seeing the government beginning to put some money as well, you know, 100 million here, 50 million there, kind of endorsing the space, which is great. Um, but really, we have a total gap of lending going to the small businesses. And we think that crowdfunding can be part of the solution to both filling the gap left by the retail banks who have neither the will nor the way to land, but also to creating more diversity in our banking system. So the government's been helping in a way of uh, prefer 
to the crowdfunding? Did they have a good look of a crowdfunding in the UK? Well, you know, we had a report by our um, banking commission um, who said very clearly, and I can quote it, that peer-to-peer -peer lending and crowdfunding was a real alternative to finance in the market. And, and you know, we have five banks that are essentially too big to fail and too big to jail. Um, and crowdfunding is part of the solutions to a more diverse landscape, so the power isn't held in the hands of quite so few. Julia, if anybody is out there in UK and you're going to be broadcasting in UK or crowdfunding, what is your recommendation? If somebody wants to get to this business, how do they start? What do they go as as a you know somebody wants to start the business, mean being in a platform, or somebody wants to be in the other part? How can they get involved? How can they, they do it? Well, the UK Crowdfunding Association has got a, a very sort of simple list and directory of the different platforms that are out there and who does debt and who does equity. Um, I think it's really a worthwhile thing to do, you know, for an hour sitting on a computer with a cup of tea on a Sunday afternoon. Um, because it's such a small amount of money, you can either donate or invest. It's really easy to experiment. And I've just got one of those brains. I learn better by actually doing something than reading about it. Um, and, it, you know, the worst case that happens is that you donate something to a very worthy cause and there's a project which which gets off the ground with your support that wouldn't have otherwise. So I think it's a really engaging way. I think it's a transparent alternative to banking. There aren't layers of advisors and intermediaries. Um, and I love that feeling of engagement, of being able to kind of see where my money is and knowing it's doing something that I support and believe in. So if they want to know what is a domain name in UK? So www.ukcfa.org.uk is the crowdfunding association. It's a good place to start. So they can learn all about. It. Well, Julia, thank you very much for your time. I know you're busy here. I saw earlier your great speech. You know, we're going to broadcast that, and you're very popular. And we're grateful to have you. And you know, I appreciate having time with the crowdfund beat, and wish you the best. Of course, thank you, Sydney. Anytime, you know that. Welcome. Thank you. Good day.